Am I playing a good hand? Is it in there or is it not? Typical day in buying storage units, guys. The good unit I bought, I sat there for an hour bidding on it and got it finally. I went to the storage facility, same thing as happened last week. They called at the last minute and gave payment. That's fine by them. They, they do this every month, but I thought this month they'd screwed up. So I didn't get that. The other one I was bidding on, it went offline. So I had three of them, okay? I got one. I'm sitting here at this other facility. It's the one that had the gun case in it that we profiled on storage auction and sanity that hopefully you're going to get to see here in one minute. I'm standing here at the door waiting for them to come in, call this number, and guess what? He said, well, they're on the property somewhere. Well, that's great, man. You know, it's these things that can happen, and, and they oh, if it can go wrong, it's gonna go wrong, folks. Here, I'll give you a little view of uh, across the street. Exercising our first amendment right of uh, able to film in public and public accessible areas and that's what we're doing so <clears throat> i'm going to keep this short and we're going to hopefully go in here and get this unit but i just wanted to let you know that sometimes when buying these things you get frustrated and the storage auction buyers to the facility are at the bottom of a list let's just leave it at that all right All right, entry's granted. Better grant me something. Getting tired of getting ungranted. I'm tired of it, folks. That's right. I'm at the facility, paid my price for this unit. Let's open the door on 5094. Yes. Now, this unit, I paid $110. And it's all about this. I don't even want to touch it. I don't want to know what's in it. But let's go and look in here first. We'll see what's in here. Okay. What do we got here? That looks like a, uh, a laptop power source. Okay. There might be a laptop in here. Uh, what is that? A bikini bottom? What the hell is that? I don't know what that is, guys. Let's see what's in there. There's nothing else in there. All right. Well, we're off to a blazing start here. Ooh, look at the boots. Okay, what are these? These are Herman Survivors. They got a lot of tread on the bottom. It's got some life left into them. Probably worth a little bit. Ooh, purses. These are always good to find purses because sometimes they don't clean them all the way out. Alright. But they clean these out. But it's good to see there was a woman involved in this unit. There's still a possibility of some jewelry. All right. Yeah. Yeah, these are, these are no change or anything. These are stripped down. Okay, not a problem. All right, guys. I don't know what you saw. The camera just went off, but I pulled this out. I thought there was going to be a DeWalt tool in here. This is just the charger. And I reckon a 40 volt battery, lithium ion, which has some value. Between that and this $5 sleeping, Coleman sleeping bag, and this goose egg, we're at about 25, which sucks. There's not much else to go with. So, a rolling shoe rack. Well, might have a little usage profit there. Okay, that's no good. And here's another shoe rack or whatever. And we got a couple of boxes to go into here. 
and we'll do that. All right. That's right. So, let's look in this box. Oh no. Wait a minute, this might not be bad. Uh, oh no. Pants, jeans, and underwear. A crappy pair of shorts and a big pair of, uh, I guess these are Levi's, size 36. All right, I don't feel any money in them, so they're 501 Levi Strauss, 36-32s. I'll tell you what these are worth to me right now. You ready? Zip. Zilch. Nothing. Zip. Zilch. Okay, you get it. Nothing. Three left. The main one's for last. The way this is going, I can already tell you what's going to be in there. But we're going to hold out some hope here. What we got here? Bolt action. War games. Ooh, this looks cool. Second edition. This book's worth a few bucks. This is pretty cool. Okay, that's something. We're going to have a short video today since I got skunked at the other place. And then you got this clod hopper right here. And I'll tell you what he's worth. You ready? Zip. Zilch. And a voodoo doll. Zip. And zilch. A piece of wood. Zilch. Another voodoo doll. Zilch. Zilch. Nothing. All right, what's in here? This. Oh, no. Oh, zip. Come on. Pay for this. Somebody's paying for this. Well, that's not going to do it. How much we get here? 17 cents. Now. Since I took the 17 cents out, I'll tell you what the rest of this is worth. Let's make sure. Zip. Zilch! Nothing! Oh my god. What's in here, you might ask? This says Army tra Transport Motor Pool. Okay, what's in it? This is going to decide how this goes, more or less. Well, the last one will, but... Warhammer. Oh. Tanks. Little model tanks. Well, I'll tell you what those are worth if you want to hear it. You got, a that. you got a little army men. They might be worth a little bit. Ah, all right, I'll tell you what. We'll give this one five bucks. So that one. Okay, guys. It's all down to this. Oh, it doesn't feel very heavy. Well, it could. This is why I bought the unit. Are you ready? Okay, come on, baby. Oh, no. Army characters.
Oh, the, oh, the white profile. All right, guys. This might be something that relates those uh, action figures that I found in the gun case. Warhammer 40,000. It's kind of like a game with figures like that. With tanks and all that crap. It's crazy, but if this is part of it, then maybe we onto something. These here. are kind of cool. They're like tanks. They built them. And yet they have all the army men and everything that they they go into there. So you can have, you can place them in it and there's like this. Now that's probably crap, but sometimes this kind of stuff will surprise you. So there's a bunch of the men and women. And there's more down here, another row. And uh, what's that? Oh, it, that's a uh, like a medical uh, cargo. I don't know, truck, cargo truck. Uh, Army medical, I don't know. What do I know about this stuff? This is new to me, so if anybody knows anything about those. This we profiled as a gun case. It didn't look quite as good when I got in there. But these pieces are more substantial in here, it looks like. I did look at them, yes. Now what is this? I don't know what. Okay, 1992, Milton Bradley, is that what it is? Okay, it's these kind of characters. If anybody, they're, they feel like they're metal, or at least partially that way. Yeah. I hope I could zoom in on that. Oh, well, it tried. Well, shh. Now look what you made me do. All right, but there's more. There's like dozens and dozens and... I mean, if I, if I pan it around, that's just not gonna look as good. I don't think. Ultraman. So I wonder if these have any, kind of strangely have any value. 1992, so they're 30 years, so technically they're 31 years, they're vintage. And there's more down here. Look at this guy. What does that say? Oh, 1999. Okay. And, oh, there's a bunch of them on the bottom. Look at all these guys. I'm not going to show you, obviously, all these, but good grief. What else could be down there? Just bunches of these guys. Now, these might be an eBay kind of thing. I got a guy for this kind of stuff. But if anything, anybody knows anything about this, comment down below, please. Yeah. So, we didn't get our gun. We got a unit worth about 50 bucks or maybe well, it depends about on the 50 bucks plus whatever is in, uh, whatever those are worth. And I don't know what they are, but we'll find out. And there's like, an, you know, some purses and blankets. Wait a minute. I got to look at that. So we've got all this. And this is the same genre of stuff. So I'm thinking maybe I can get my money back on this unit. So we got a free look into a gun case today. So it's a win. This locker's a win if that's the case. I think these sold as a, as a lot could bring me with whatever usage profit I can get out of here, whatever I can get a, give away and feel good about, keep, etc. Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah, so I'll call this locker 
I don't want to call it a fail. I'm not going to call it a win either. It's just we got to look for free into what we perceived online as to be a gun case. So there you have it. See ya.